Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Art Business with Ness. I'm Ness and I'm a professional illustrator. Last year I released a simple pattern tutorial in Photoshop and many of you told me that you loved it and wanted more pattern tutorials in the future. So here we are. Today I'm showing you how to create a simple half drop pattern in Photoshop. But the same technique can be used in other applications as well. So what is a half drop pattern? Just to give you an example, we have here a super simple tile that I put together in three seconds and we can see here on the right how it would repeat normally when we just do a very regular repeat, which is what we call a full drop. In the full drop, we simply repeat the tile on the right and below and we tile it normally like this, like a checkboard. However, in the half drop, instead of doing that, we drop the tile half of the length here. And that's why we call it a half drop. So when we put them right next to each other, you can see that in the full drop pattern, lines are forming, right? We can see vertical and horizontal lines created by the motifs. But in the half drop pattern, we can see that the motifs kind of bounce around like this in diagonal lines, which creates a lot more movement and it makes the pattern feel less stiff. That's not to say that full drops are bad patterns or that they never have their place. In fact, they can be great patterns too. And many companies in Europe, for example, actually prefer full drops. However, in a lot of other countries, such as in North America, half drops are usually preferred. So it's really great to know how to do both. And today I'll show you the easiest method to do that. But before we jump into it, let me thank you, the sponsor of today's video, Invoice Ninja, for supporting the channel and helping me bring you free helpful tutorials such as this. Invoice Ninja is an invoicing app that focuses on helping freelancers just like you and I to get paid, track how much money we're making, and all that admin stuff that we just have to do. More about it at the end of the video. So we're starting here in Photoshop and you're going to decide what size you want your tile to be. For this to work, it has to be a square tile. I like to do 15 by 15 inches because I like to work big in 300 DPI, but you can do a different size if you like, if you like to work in 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 or whatever you prefer. Now, usually I use a 300 DPI resolution, which is a print resolution, but for today, I'm going to do 72 just this once because I'm recording my screen and I don't want Photoshop to lag for you. So let's create this. The first thing we're going to start with is to create our guide for us. So we need to create this diamond shape that is going to help us. So let's just drag some guides from the side rulers. You can simply, you know, click on the ruler and drag it. But if you don't have the rulers, there's probably hidden. So go click on view and then make sure that rulers is ticked on to make sure that you have the rulers. So then you're going to be able to drag and put on your guide. You want to put it exactly in the middle. And that's pretty easy to do because as you can see, Photoshop makes it kind of snap to the middle. <laughs> so snap it to the middle, same thing vertically like this. And now you have your square divided in halves like this. And this is going to help us a lot create your guide. You're going to click on this line shape. Um, yours might be the rectangle tool that's selected. So if you see this rectangle, just hold on the menu and go get the line and make sure that here you have a black stroke, something like three or four or five pixels wide and no fill. So if you have a color, make sure that it's selected no fill. And now we're simply going to trace lines from guide to guide, simply like this to create this diamond shape. Right? So the guys are going to help us, but still it might not be perfect. Perfect. Like I think this one on the right here wasn't like quite exactly, but that's fine. We just want this approximate shape and this is okay. So now I'm going to merge all of this together. I'm going to hold down shift to select all of them. And then I'm going to do control E to merge everything together. And now we can dismiss these guys drag them back where they came from. <laughs> and now we have our guide and we're ready to start. So I have a little folder here full of little PNGs of motifs that I drawn before. And so I'm going to simply be able to drag and drop them into my canvas here. So I'm going to place this somewhere here. And next one, I'm going to put this on my second monitor, but it's still here. 
and I'm going to pick another tiger and put it here. Now we're trying to fill up as much as possible this diamond shape. Okay, so we're gonna have every little nook and cranny as much as we can filled up. You can move them around, try to get your composition as good as possible, but we are going to be able to tweak this later if it's not exactly as you hoped, so don't worry about that. Now we're going to drag some leaves to decorate all of this. Alright, so I filled up my diamond shape as well as I could and now we're going to hold down shift again and select everything, click on the little folder down and this is going to create a group. Now we're ready to create our half drop. Are you ready? We're going to click on view here at the top and we're going to activate pattern preview. Pattern preview is the magical tool from Photoshop that allows you to adjust your pattern in real time and see how it affects the repeat. So you can see what we have created right now and we have this diamond filled but we still have this entire section that needs to be filled. So we're going to right click on our group and do duplicate group. And now with the move tool simply we're going to bring it over there. And because we have our guides it's going to be very easy put it exactly where we need to be. We just align this diamond shape as much as possible. As you can see, mine wasn't exactly. We can see where, you know, it doesn't perfectly align. So I'm just going to do my best to try to align it. I think this is about as good as it gets because it wasn't a perfect diamond. Now I'm going to open both groups and turn off this guide layer so that we can see my repeat. And you can see this is what we have right now. This is a half drop pattern. So let's pick one motif to focus on. For instance, this leaf right there, we can see is repeated here, down and here. So this kind of breaks up the grid shape that we can often see with full drop patterns. It just feels a lot better. Like we have really done this super, super quickly and already like it's not a terrible pattern. It's not the best pattern I've ever seen in my life, but <laughs> it's not a terrible pattern. And for the time that we took doing this, that's really quite incredible. But now I'm going to show you how you can do some tweaks here without changing your half drop repeat. So we're going to click on the move tool and then you're going to hold control and click on an element that you want to switch up. It's going to find it in your list. So this is leaf six. And now I'm going to go find in the other group, leaf six here, I'm going to hold control and tap it. And now both of them are selected at the same time. So now I'm going to be able to move them. And it moves as you can see this leaf and this leaf at the same time. So this is how I can make changes to one element without messing up my repeat. So now I'm going to select leaf 17 and I'm going to switch up this one a little bit too. Uh, this tiger, see there's kind of a little empty space here. So I'm going to take this tiger, tiger three, and I'm going to bring him a little lower to fill up that space a little bit better. And what else? Maybe this leaf, leaf five. I'm going to put it a little bit over here to fill up that space. And now this flower, flower one, you can put it a bit more in the middle as well. So you can just go around like this and do any changes that you like until your pattern is just perfect. 
All right, so I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. And this is our pattern, the pattern that we created in just a few minutes. So, so simple. When you want to export this, you can just do file and then export, quick export as PNG. And it's going to export just your tile, not everything else. So now you'll be able to create beautiful half draft patterns such as this one. And it's a great new skill to add to your arsenal. And when you get commissioned for your first paid pattern, make it a smooth and professional experience by using Invoice Ninja. With their beautiful templates, you can create and send a super professional invoice or quote to your clients in seconds. Not only does it help you look like you know what you're doing, it saves you time dealing with paperwork and admin stuff so you can focus on the art. It also creates a super smooth experience for your clients by allowing them to pay directly from their invoice in one click with a credit card, PayPal, Apple Pay, and more. Get notifications when clients view your invoices and automate payment reminders so you don't have to worry about a thing. But for me, what really takes Invoice Ninja to the next level is their productivity tools to help you log tasks, track your time and organize your projects on boards, as well as their mobile app that's so user friendly and smooth as butter. They're also much more affordable than other invoicing apps, which is really important for us freelancers, especially when we're just starting out. So check out Invoice Ninja and see how it can help you run your art business more smoothly. I will leave the link in the description below. But for right now, that's it for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to help our small channel grow. If you have any questions about half draft patterns or if there's anything else you would like me to create a tutorial on, don't hesitate, leave a comment below this video and I will be happy to make tutorials about the things that you're dying to know. Until then, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.